Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today is a beautiful day. It is Friday. It is the first Friday of working. And to some you might be like, what, what, huh? Why is that exciting? Well, it's Labor Day weekend. So first off, I wanna wish you all a very fun and safe, have a great time, have amazing blessings. Thank Jesus and Oh man, I just lost all I was gonna say. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Wonderful Labor Day weekend. And, well, ah, dang it. Okay, I must admit, before anybody asks, these glasses are just blue light glasses. And what that helps is that helps me, let me get back in the light here, that helps me not have headaches at the end of the week. And if you guys are sitting in front of screens all day long too, these could potentially help you. They're not, they're not even readers, they're really just a blue light canceling glass, glasses pair. I don't wear glasses these are what i wear to help prevent my head from hurting from making me feel so tired at the end of the week and if you guys this is not a promotion but if you guys could use them or benefit from them or want to try them out i got a link down below it is an amazon affiliate link and i may earn some commission off of it so that's why i'm going to share it with you guys also since it's labor day weekend Amazon's having a bunch of Labor Day sales. And if you guys are interested in any kind of products, I can, I can help you out. I can help you out. I can get you a link. I can send it to you. Use that link, and I may earn a little bit of commission off of that. That is something that I love about being an Amazon affiliate. And to be honest with you guys, it's not very much. But every little penny, every little penny helps. Because every penny says, in God we trust. And in God I trust. So, thank you guys so much. I have more affiliate links down below. You can check out everything. Crosses that we wear, um, all of my gear that I use for recording, everything. It's all down there. Well, now let's go have some fun. All right, well, I must admit that today was a little crazy. And by today, I mean this afternoon. It was a little crazy in this evening. So I didn't really get to record much when we got the kids from school. And you know what, sometimes that happens. Life is important and you guys are important too. However, I can't always take the camera everywhere. So we're gonna enjoy the night, reading the devotional for today, and then I'll let you guys go ahead and go to sleep. <laughs> As if I could tell you when to go to sleep. <laughs> all right, all right. So today's devotional in our day-by-day -day devotions for dads it the title is daddy tell me a story how how fitting from childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in G christ jesus 2 timothy 3:15 nkjv new king james version maybe i believe <clears throat> all right let's read this have you mastered the art of telling bedtime stories? No. Whether you're reading a, cla a classic Dr. Seuss story or pulling a fairy tale from your own imagination, yeah, that's what I do, there are several strategies for getting the most out of it. Get close and comfy. Use silly voices and sound effects. If you're reading a story to the younger kids, invite the older kids to listen too. Ten-year-olds may not admit it, but they still love bedtime stories. Adi, is that true? <laughs> Make wise use of resources from your local Christian bookstore. Bible story books that appeal to children have come a long way in recent years. Don't hesitate to pull out your own Bible. Even in grown-up Bibles, there are cap captive captivating captivating stories actually events the kids can totally understand the creation of the world genesis 1 the giant boat genesis 6 and 7 the 
man the lions wouldn't eat. Daniel 6. Three guys in a furnace. Daniel 3. The lost boy found a church. Luke 2, 41 through 52. Short, short guy up the tree. Luke 19. And you know, I just got to stop right there and pause because it's, it's, it's true. It's true. Simply pulling out the Bible and reading true stories that happen, that took place. It, there's nothing more powerful, more powerful than God's word. And the Bible is just that God's word. And man, it, it's, it's amazing. So let's continue. Don't forget to make good use of the parables of Jesus and follow follow his secret to delivering the moral of the story. Jesus doesn't just recite a lesson. He asks follow-up questions and leads the audience to their own conclusions. For example, after sharing the story we now call the Good Samaritan, Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? When his audience gave him gave him the obvious answer, Jesus gave an equally obvious but necessary command. Yes, now go and do the same. I'll switch pages here. These pages are kind of stuck together. And now we're ready for the what about you? The Bible doesn't change lives. God changes lives when people apply the truths of the Bible. And by the way, this book you're holding also doesn't do squat unless you apply what you're learning. So, in other words, we can read, we can be taught, we can sit through classes, we can go through all these things in life and hear and see and do but that's what it comes down to if we're not applying it and we're not doing it reading this isn't going to help reading the bible which is in in my kitchen right now isn't going to help and why it's in my kitchen is because my kitchen is where i put my keys it's where close to the back door where we come in it's easy to take my bible outside that way honestly kind of moves around the house from bedroom to the kitchen anyways reading these going to those classes learning those things they only help if we apply them if we apply them and god has made each and every one of us for a very specific reason and that's that's what we all call our calling what is your calling I'm still trying to figure out what my calling is. Right now, I feel my calling is to be the best father that I can be and raise these kids up to know Jesus sooner and know him better than I did as a kid. I knew him as a kid, but I just didn't apply him to my life. I took the front seat, you know, and gave Jesus the back seat, whereas I needed to have Jesus as my co-pilot. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that I can do that for, for my kids because they deserve it. They deserve, they deserve it. And, you know, they deserve more than the world. They deserve Jesus and to have him in their lives. And they do, they do, and it's amazing. And I'm thankful and grateful for that. So, anyways, take, take these, take what you learn, take what you know. Take what you're skilled at and apply it. Apply yourself to those things. Things in my life, they're looking up. They're, they're, we're coming up and we're going to hit roadblocks. And we're going to get knocked down and we're going to go right through them. We're going to get right back up and we're going to keep trucking. So thank you guys. This is a little, got a little motivational here. If, if it helps you out, if you really enjoy this vlog, go ahead and smash that button, that thumbs up button that is. Don't forget, share these videos with your friends and family. If they if they help you, maybe sharing it out to somebody else, it could help us grow, but it could also help them. And at the end of the day, that's always one of my top goals. If I could help one person, if I could save one person's life, if I could bring one person to Jesus, that that all of this right there just made it worth it. 
every little ounce of it. And even even if I don't bring that one person to Jesus, but I touch one person's soul and I help them make a better decision the next time, that's something amazing. That that's awesome. To me that's that's God working through me to help them even if they don't realize it. Even if I don't realize it. Because here's the thing. God's been in my life since the beginning, since before the beginning of my life. And he's still here right now. And it's amazing. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. And we will catch you tomorrow with some sort of vlog. Hmm. It's kind of difficult. There's no kids. So can we still have fun without kids? Let me know in the comments. God bless. Shout out to my buddy Don for that awesome puzzle. And my mom for the sign. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. <laughs>